for all of us. today with us uh, Mr. Gaston D'Souza, a phenomenal and incredible corporate trainer and a motivational speaker, one of India's leading. So hello Gaston sir, uh, how's your life is going on? Hi Ronald, thank you primarily for uh, uh, inviting me to your podcast, it's, a, it's an honor. Uh, life has been good, God has been kind, a um, lot of assignments happening and I'm, uh, you know, I'm just kind of moving from one place to the other, but I'm enjoying every phase of this life. So, and you, and Gaston, sir, I was uh, going through your YouTube channel. I was, I mean, literally, I was uh, astonished. I, I saw your few of, of videos and I loved that. So, I want to know your journey. I mean, how did this idea of motivating others cross your mind, Gaston, sir? I, um, uh, it, it's, it's quite a long story, uh, if you ask me. Uh, not many of them know that I was a helper in a factory. So oh. I started with uh, picking up iron rods and giving it to the operator. Uh, there was I went from Mumbai, so there was this factory way back in a place called Asthani. Mm. And uh, I started my journey there for seven years. I was a helper. Uh, then I ek junoon tha, si sirf paise kamane. How can I I make more money? And then and then I went to Saudi Arabia. I went there as a machine operator. But um, eventually, after five years, I um, uh, ended up at, into sales and marketing. That's when the how the talk and stuff started. Right? I came back to India because I didn't want to see because my daughter was born and I wanted to be with her. Oh. Uh, slowly and steadily, I realized that you know the ones who talk well. I believe in one mantra that always deliver your words not by number but by weight. Oh. And the ones who talk well always tend to influence people. Can you imagine that if you are making words, if you are making someone's life better, so how beautiful that is, right? So, you know, one thing, I, I began as an anchor. So one thing led to the other uh, and so on and so forth. And, and here I am as an inspirational speaker and a corporate trainer now. And Gaston, sir, you are, you, your journey is really incredible. So what is success according to you? I mean, you have gone through a, a possibly, you know, adverse cities a lot. You have faced many challenges like you have, you know, previously mentioned. So I want to know what is the definition of success in accordance to your experience of it? Success is different for different people, right? I will not be able to define success um, uh, in, in one definition because for some people, uh, success is family. For some people, success is money. For some people, success is, um, you know, different ways of, for, for different people. Uh, for me, success is um, having a healthy mind, having a healthy body, um, having a loving family to take care of, and who can take care of me. And of course, um, I can't say this without having uh, quite a hefty sum in the bank. Right, sir. Uh, you have uh, actually practical thing you, you have shared that health, wealth and ha happiness, all three pillars of life must be stable at the same time, right? So, G hmm. Gaston, sir, I would like to ask one very predominant question, which is a lot of people are going through. How to deal with failure? I mean, lots of people are going through failure, e even we and you as well. So what are your insights and advices in regard of how to confront and actually encounter failure, emotion, adversity, stress? And all? Um, so yes, I get asked this question quite a lot. Uh, challenges in life, you know, failures in life. Uh, so when you are alive, when you are alive, challenges to come, failures to come. आप रस्ते पे चल रहे हो दिक्कतें तो आएंगी लोग बिना बीच में आएंगे आएंगे वरना मुर्दों को तो लोग रास्ता छोड़ देते हैं लेकिन जब तक आप जिंदा हो तो चैलेंज तो आएंगे आएंगे आई हैव फेस्ड लॉट ऑफ फेलियर्स इन लाइफ इफ यू आस्क मी ऑनेस्टली राइट ऑन द टाइम पीपल व्हेन आई वाज वर्किंग इन अ फैक्ट्री अर्लियर एज अ हेल्पर पीपल थ्रोइंग अ स्मॉल कीट ऑन द फ्लोर एंड आस्क मी टू पिक इट अप आई हैव फेस्ड फेलियर इन व्हिच पीपल हैव स्लैम्ड अ डोर ऑन माय फेसेस एंड सेज वी डोंट वांट योर प्रोडक्ट Uh, I have faced failure in which people say that you are stammering. You can never be a good public speaker. But right. if you allow these things to control you, then the entire world will control you. Yeah. You can't allow some words to control you because then everything else will. You can't allow failures to control you because everything else will. So you've got to accept the one thing about failure. You've got to accept failure as a way of achieving success because without, without failure, you can never ever achieve success. And always remember that if you fail, ho rahe ho, 
which means life is preparing you for something big. Right. I will give you an example of Arunima Sinha. Right. Yeah. She was thrown. Chalti train se usko uh, usko bahar feka gaya tha. Yeah. Uh, Puri raat chue uske pair ko kutar rahe the. Aur yeah. jab us hospital mein subeh le gaya, jab usko bola gaya ki aap kabi chal nahi paogi. Ek tang apni kati hui hai. So with that one half leg, one synthetic leg, that yeah. girl climbed the highest mountain in the world. Right, sir. So failure is one thing you've got to accept, but एक बात ध्यान रखें confirmed after failure you are bound to succeed. आज नहीं कल you will succeed. The Indian cricket team they lost in the finals, uh. right? The last time, but today they are the champions because they have never lost. Right. Uh, focus. In- so Augustan sir, you have uh, shared a very practical thing, which is failure is a stepping stone. If failure is a first chapter prior to success. First, we have to be failure. We have to make mistake, but we don't have to repeat same mistake again and again, right? True. So that the lessons will help us and will uplift us, right? So True, because yeah, sure. mistake made once is a mistake. A mistake made twice maybe is also a mistake, mm-hmm. but a mistake made three times is a choice, right? आपकी ज़िंदगी आपको time and again आपको मौका देती रहेंगी अगर आपने उस मौके से सीख लिया अगर आप फेल भी हो गए हो आप उस मौके से सीख लिया दैट्स नॉट अ फेलियर बिकॉज़ यू हैव लर्न समथिंग राइट गैस्टन सर आई हैव वाच्ड योर टू और थ्री वीडियोस ऑन एक्चुअली YouTube एंड Instagram एज़ वेल यू आर अ फिनोमेनल पब्लिक स्पीकर सो व्हाट आर योर एडवाइसेस थ्री एडवाइसेस ऑन पब्लिक स्पीकिंग दैट वन शुड एक्चुअली कीप दीस थ्री थिंग्स इन माइंड व्हाइल डिलीवरिंग एनी टॉक टू द क्राउड राइट आह Well, that's a that's a lovely question, um, and I'm happy to honor. You know, at your age, uh, you know, you're, you're speaking words of wisdom. Yeah, it's, it's a nice thing. Uh, the three advices for words of wisdom. One thing I would say is, a uh, lot of people they build up uh, in public speaking. People don't measure your height from the head to your toes. Mm. In public speaking, people measure your height from the neck to the head. Right. आपकी height जो ये height है उससे आपकी आपकी height measure होगी. and for that reason why jab you are public speaking karte ho the first thing that is you've got to confirm is build your vocabulary right abhi tak some when i go and uh, have talks for the doctors many doctors even now d e n g u e they pronounce it as dengue when the right pronunciation is dengue dengue right so the first thing is the public speaker guys always get your words right if you do not get your words right if you don't pronounce it well you know it will be a disaster on stage and number 2 in public speaking always remember the crowd does not know what you are going to speak right but if if you do this like uh uh, uh, uh you roll your eyes and you keep on having this fillers Fillers. Of, uh, and you people will realize you are making a mistake uh, so confidence is one key you've got to wear uh, and three i always believe um, in this formula called as beer and i'm saying beer i don't talk about the actual drink Yeah. But you always begin. You begin with the introduction. You begin with the topic. Um, e is for example. You always and always. People love storytelling. You always provide an example that is relevant to your topic. That's how people get engrossed in. Three is ending. You always end with the moral of the story. So you begin. You have an example. You end with the moral of the story. And R is a second letter for wrapping. W R A P. When you wrap it up, always thank the crowd for their time and for their attention, because they could have given their time to anything else, but they gave their time to you. Right. They could have given their attention to everything else, but they have given their attention to you. So always thank your audience for their time and for their attention. You have shared a very practical thing. I mean, it is like a chain that four steps we always need to consider prior to delivering any talk. So it is very practical at advices. You know, yeah, Augustine sir. Uh, you have shared incredible examples and incredible advices on how to deliver public speaking and how to confront crowd so one question which is aligned with it how to face stage fear like people get afraid or terrified so how to face that people get afraid of two counts first is when they see an entire crowd they get blanked out the mind becomes blank hmm. it becomes black out ho jata hai ki they do not know what to say next but more often than not more often than not people blank out because they're not well prepared mm. right so so i always tell this to my children as well uh, if you're not well prepared you will never be confident and if you're not confident you will never be able to speak in public 
I remember distinctly well. There was this there was this six year old child uh, who had to just come in a play in a drama and just say, "Hurry up, uh, ma'am! The king is calling you." He had to say this. Two second ki line thi, but he had to come running, running, huffing and panting and saying, "Hurry up, ma'am! The king is calling you." Now this guy was so prepared for his role. that he climbed and ran across the steps six times just to get that natural feeling of huffing and panting of being tired aur jab uska waqt aaya wo aa gaya and that natural moment half half ke wala hey i am the king is calling you and he walked out us 2 second ke liye usne 6 bar sidiyo se upar niche wo usne chadan ki and that's what preparation is all about if you don't prepare you will never be able to succeed that's why people blank out and number 2 as i mentioned earlier Guys, you've got to practice ten thousand times. When I'm saying it is called as a law of twenty hours. So uh-huh. if you practice for twenty hours, any topic, maybe not at a stretch, maybe half an hour today, one hour tomorrow, half an hour today, one hour tomorrow, but twenty hours at a stretch. If you prepare any topic, I can bet you can never blank out because you know confidently is what you're going to speak. So uh, you know, prepare, uh, practice, and deliver. Prepare, practice, and deliver. right ppt ppt yeah so you have shared a very practical thing which is we have to be we have to have a tight grip on preparation so gaston sir i want to ask that how to start preparation like uh, is there any number of task that we that we have to go through 20 minute a day or 25 minute like self talk or affirmation So what are your ad, you know advices or these two things are distinct from each other what are your opinions between self talk and affirmation right. self talk and affirmation is good but that's very positive that's very powerful right uh, rodney if i may ask you what is the first thing that you do when you get up in the morning the first thing i do is uh, check my emails to be honest okay yeah and then and then brush and then take bath and then read a book actually there there, there is a book that i read and then that's uh, awesome yeah for me the first thing that i do the moment i get up in the morning and the moment i open my eyes the first thing that's that's now become a default thing in me the first thing i do is thank god for the gift of life for that day now gratitude the first thing in the morning is a very positive thing that can change your life upside down because remember without you being alive pe- many people had plans for today right right but some of them are lying in the morgue but if you are zinda ho to gratitude is the first thing in the morning and the next thing that you've got to do to have a very positive mindset the question is um do you have a mindset which is growth oriented mm. and if your mindset is growth oriented then what according to you is growth right if you ask me ronak growth for me is not whether i get promoted or or get more money Uh, for me growth is what have i learned in that particular day or to a max what have i learned in that particular week even now at the end of every week maybe on a on a saturday evening or saturday morning i analyze my entire week if i have not learned anything in that week i consider that week to be waste right aur jab aapko har ek hafte mein har ek din mein kuch seekhne ki aadat pad jayegi even if it is maybe a new word even if it is maybe uh you know learning how to make maggi differently even right. if it is making a little of a new language uh even if it is maybe you know uh, if you walk for about uh 6 hours in the entire week maybe have you walk for 6 and a half hours so wow. you have got to have a growth mind this can be a growth aur jab aapko aadat pad jayegi ki har hafte aap pichle hafte se kuch zyada acha kar rahe ho aapki life ko aur ubhar rahe ho trust me on that you will never stop wanting success in life success is yours the ticket बिकॉज अगर आप कुछ नहीं सीख पा रहे हो आपका मन जो है वो आपको कहेगा कि रौनक यार इस बार इस हफ्ते में खुद नहीं सीखा एंड यू विल स्टार्ट वर्किंग अकॉर्डिंगली एंड पीपल ऑलवेज रिस्पेक्ट द बिगेस्ट कॉपरेट इन दर्ल्ड आई सॉ बिल गेट्स इन अ पिक्चर रीडिंग अ बुक नहीं इमेजिन जिस बंदे के पास ही इज गॉट ऑल द मनी इन द वर्ल्ड वाई विल यू रीड अ बुक ऑफ एन ऑथर हु डज नॉट इवन है that bill get believes that he can learn something from someone who has written a book mm. so the biggest leaders in the world will have this growth mindset aapko is mindset ko adopt karna hi padega if you want to achieve something substantial in life right so gaston sir you have elaborated 
I mean, uh, very succinctly about what is growth mindset. So I, I want to know what are your insights on fixed mindset? Like, what is it? I mean, according to you, what are fixed mindset people? Fixed mindset are the ones who are afraid of taking risks. They are afraid of challenges. Challenges. Fixed mindset, what is it? You, you are, like, you've got a certain skill, right? आपको पता है कि ये स्किल में आप ये काम ट्राई कर पाएंगे लेकिन अगर मैं फेल हो गया तो दुनिया मुझ पे हंसेगी सो आई एम हैप्पी इन माय इन माय कंफर्ट जोन राइट इन अ फिक्स माइंडसेट पीपल डू नॉट रेयरली गो आउट ऑफ द कंफर्ट जोन और योर कंफर्ट जोन इज अ ब्यूटीफुल थिंग और बहुत अच्छी चीज है पर यहां पर कभी किसी चीज की बढ़ोतरी नहीं होती nothing ever grows in a fixed mindset nothing ever grows in a concept comfort zone you can be on the right path Mm. but if you don't walk towards your goal somebody will run over you right. the biggest challenge a lot of people face is that um, you know what what is a growth mindset right as you mentioned the number one always remember intelligence can be developed aisa nahi hota ki software sabka ek hi hai hai na but intelligence can be developed so guys always remember grow the intelligence you will always you learn something you can respond to complex problems never react but respond chemicals react but people respond uh, right sir. right uh, a very a big public speaker i mean a very famous public speaker said mahabharat mein duryodhan ne uh, you know react kar liya because draupadi us pe hansi thi uh. unhone react kiya tha aur mahabharat hui thi kaurava ka nash hua tha लेकिन रामायण में लॉ भगवान राम ने जब उसको बोला गया कि आपको वनवास जाना है उन्होंने रिस्पॉन्ड कर लिया सुन लिया और वनवास गए जब गए तो वो राम बन के गए लेकिन जब आए तो वो पुरुषोत्तम भगवान श्री राम बन के आए सो रिएक्शन और रिस्पॉन्स में ये फर्क है देन एम्ब्रेस चैलेंज चैलेंजेस आर अ वे ऑफ लाइफ आपको अगर आप चैलेंजेस से डर गए तो लाइफ में आप कभी नहीं बढ़ पाओगे अगर सेटबैक भी हुआ तो आपको उस सेटबैक को एक्सेप्ट करना है एंड हाउ कैन यू ग्रो ऑफ दैट सेटबैक is what you've got to think right if somebody criticizes you do not get bogged down mm. generally criticize because you are better than them or aisa kehte hain ki aam jis ped pe bahut phal lade hain bahut phal hain log usi pe patthar mare right right so but people criticized even uh, colonel sanders mm. jisne 102 bar unko nahi bola gaya tha और एक सौ थर्ड बार उसको एक ऑर्डर के एफ सी का मिला एंड के एफ सी वॉज बॉर्न राइट नेवर नेवर ग्रोथ माइंड सेट यू बी ऑफ टेकिंग चैलेंजेस इफ यू डू नॉट टेक चैलेंजेस यू कैन नेवर ग्रो अप इन लाइफ राइट सेट आई वॉज एक्चुअली रीडिंग अ बुक कॉल्ड फाइव ए एम क्लब यू माइट है राइट ऑफ रॉबिन शर्मा राइट रॉबिन शर्मा आई रेड उसमें एक चीज मैंशन थी कि लाइफ इज टेन परसेंट वॉट हैपन्स टू यू एंड नाइनटी परसेंट हाउ यू रियक्ट ऑन अगर मैं इसको खोलू तो क्या होगा कुछ भी नहीं पानी वैसा का वैसा ही है लेकिन अगर ये बॉटल कोका कोला की होगी इसको मैं तंग करूं शेक करूं और उसको मैं खोल दूं तो क्या होगा पूरा का पूरा कोक बाहर सो नाइनटी परसेंट अगर कोक गेट्स वेस्ट यू डिसाइड रिस्पॉन्ड रिएक्ट आर यू वाटर और आर यू कोक राइट इफ यू विल आई मीन स्टार्ट रिएक्टिंग टू मच देन इट मींस इट इज अ साइन दैट यू आर बीइंग एसिडिक इन योर लाइफ राइट टू एंड यू हैव बीन कंट्रोल्ड यू हैव बीन कंट्रोल्ड यू नो द बेस्ट पार्ट इज when somebody says something to us we feel happy right when somebody says something nice to us we feel happy somebody says something bad to us we feel sad uh, the question is aapne aapka remote control kisi aur ke hath mein diya hai right sir right so be very vigilant guys don't let criticism bog you down uh, actually we are we have given our control to somebody else that you have to drive you know drive the car of my life true true that true that and you have mentioned a very amazing thing which is react and versus respond very amazingly you have clarified both terms right because so gaston sir one last question i want to ask what are your advices on communication skill like i have been watching you your communication is out of i mean box so i want to know three advices which you would like to give from your experience 
All right. So the first thing I'd say um, in communication, uh, you've got to understand what communication is all about. Right. But kuch ke liye, a lot of people, what they do is kuch ke liye, they go, right? But sometimes you have to learn. Like, if I put more water in this bottle, then will it go? No, not at all. If I put it empty, then I can put it in. Right? Mm -hmm. In communication, whenever you want to learn communication, please, the first thing is empty yourself so that okay. whomsoever gives you communication, that can go inside. That is why. Right. Um, number two is once you're open to learning. Number two, remember guys, there's a distinct difference between conversation and communication. Mm -hmm. So I'll just talk on the surface. Right. Um, a lot of people, they converse with people and they think they have communicated with them. Mm -hmm. But communication is different. Conversation is different. Conversation is, different. conversation is an exchange of words and words alone between two people. Mm -hmm. Conversation, it is not necessary that the person opposite you has understood what you're saying. But communication is an exchange of words, mm -hmm. thoughts, Ideas, emotions, and values. Right. You know, I've got an entire theory about this, Rodak, and I wish I could have had more time. I uh, will explain it to But yeah. yes, what, that's, this is one thing. Understand what communication is all about. I told you also that you've got to learn a lot of new words. New and words. this will happen. This will happen. Definitely, yes. That when you learn new words, you learn new words. When you start learning new words and you start using them in your daily language, yeah. people are going to laugh at you. Right. They will for sure laugh at you. We don't require those new words. In seven days, if you learn two new words, in a week, you learn eight new words. Right. Right. In six months, you learn 48 new words. In one year, you learn 96 new words in your vocabulary. Up so slow, how powerful your vocabulary will be when with 96 new words. I'm talking about just two new words per week. Right. And once your vocabulary is powerful enough, I think you've just begun on the journey towards communication. Right. And the next practical thing that I will tell you is, by the way, first they will ask why you're doing this. And वही लोग बाद में आपको बोलेंगे boss how did you do this? लेकिन हंसना लाज़मी है वो लोग आपको हंसेंगे when I used to earlier go and when I was younger because we were from a very economically weak background so I used to go there was this book called Ren and Martin और मैं मैं कभी मेरे दोस्तों के पास जाता था कि please give me the book I want some grammar help and कभी कभी ऐसे ही होता था कि they used to you know shut the door on my face कि नहीं यार book है नहीं कि वो घर पे नहीं है कि book किसी और को दिया हुआ है पहले मैं उन लोगों के पीछे भागता था आज वो लोग मेरे पीछे भागते हैं राइट सो सो हां जी तो कम्युनिकेशन हैज हैज बॉट मी हियर एंड द थर्ड थिंग आई ऑलवेज टेल यू इज वंस यू स्टार्ट लर्निंग न्यू वर्ड्स वॉच लॉट ऑफ पॉडकास्ट दैट योर पॉडकास्ट आई हैव सीन योर पॉडकास्ट दे आर क्वाइट इंटेलिजेंट दे आर सेल्फ हेल्प पॉडकास्ट राइट वॉच लॉट ऑफ इंस्पिरेशनल लीडर्स वॉच देम ऑन ऑन टेलीविजन रीड व्हेन यू रीड से फॉर एग्जांपल लाइक दिस इज टू कार्ड uh, you or take a newspaper and you read a newspaper. Uh -huh. Read recording yourself. Abito, we've got cell phones. Hamare paas toh nahi tha. We used to read in front of a mirror. Read by recording yourself on a cell phone. You will come to know your expressions. Uh, you will come to know how you are reading. Uh, you know, does your does is your vocabulary with with the right amount of voice modulation uh -huh. or is your vocabulary absolutely straight? Right. Hi, Ronak. How are you? Is also there. Hey, Ronak, how are you? What's, what's, what's happening? How are you doing? Mm. So practice all that. And communication will not happen tomorrow. But you start practice karte jayenge when you watch a lot of podcasts, self-help videos, learn uh, new words, practice in front of the mirror, persist in practicing. I'm telling you, give yourself. Right. And watch a brand new you come in the market. Right, right. So, Gaston, sir, you have shared a very practical thing and very actually realistic thing you have shared from your experience. So, thank you so much for your time, and I'm very grateful that you have taken, you know, taken out this prestigious time of 30 minutes from your schedule. Thank you for being on the podcast. Thank you, thank you, Ronak. I I would wish you all the best and God bless you. Uh, you're doing a fantastic job. Somebody at your age in trying to do all these podcasts, and that's that's an again a testimony of 
what a young man can do with if you've got the right thinking and the right mindset. So all the best, buddy. You may Thank grow you. well. May you become like a tree, uh, giving shade to so many people around you, and may you inspire millions with your podcast. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, sir. Thank you.